the smoke. Nothing's leaking though. Sounds good. I don't believe this is happening. Yeah! Alright guys, new day, new shirt, new Jose, new Jose, new, Jose. <laughs> new headers. Today, as Jose has said, it's gonna be simple. This day's gonna be simple. One side's gonna be simple. Take four bolts off, pull the header out, put the new header in. That's the idea. Uh, Jose brought these special ratchet wrench type deals. What the fuck are these? Just uh, so ratcheting um, ends, swivel, both ends, and long. So we got that long reach. We don't have to, you know, um, deal with. We have enough leverage basically on this thing, and we have all those, like the room. It'll just make our make our job easier. Okay, and that's what we're looking for. So what I like about these headers is they're a direct replacement for the stock ones so they have the egr port which makes them legal in all 50 states we'll just rip the old ones off and put these bad boys right on so we'll get the instructions out oh wow look at this the instructions actually give us a right and left so right side's got six steps left side's got 13. so it looks like i'll be working on the right side <laughs> <laughs> All right, we don't have much time. As you can see, sun's going down, so we got to get to it right now. Pretty much done on my side. I don't know about you, Kyle, but kind of finished and ready to lift the car up and um, start putting more. the headers out. I got one more, one more. Come on, man, you ain't got nothing out there. I got. There's oh, nothing I, I obstructing you here. I got one more. That's it. That's it. No, I think that back one is kind of a bit. Look, right there, that guy. Yep, that's the culprit. All right, so I'll get this bolt out, we'll jack it up, we're gonna disconnect it from the cats, and we're gonna pull the old ones out, put the new ones on. Because now it doesn't want to be nice. There we go, perfect. Cool, it just fell off, it's good. Okay. And that's it, right? You that sure? is it. That was a uh, nice bolt. Yeah, man, should be. How are you looking? We're, I gotta go down there and see how that looks. I still gotta undo that flange. The bolts are out, but no flange, so. Oh yeah, so you got this and a hammer. Hammer always works. Ideally, we thought we were gonna take the uh, the header down from the end, or from yeah. the bottom. Yeah, so, so on this side it has, the cat has a flange to the header, and then the cat, on the back side of the cat, there's another flange. So my plan was to disconnect the, the cats, and then you, you have all that space. But on this side, the back side of the cat doesn't have a flange. So one pipe slips over the other one. So yeah. it's kind of tight. It probably hasn't been taken off in like how many years. So can't take it off. So we went from the top and we got it off. On the driver's side, we're gonna attempt to take it down from the bottom. Yeah, on the driver's side, it's exactly how I had already planned. So right now, the only the only thing is uh, there's the, the flange that's holding onto the header, which is kind of uh, like caught on the bolts. So I'm trying to just unhook it from there. Once I unhook it from there, they are unbolted from the backside of the cat, bring the cat down, and then the head should come right down through the bottom. And then we're money. And then money.
All right, so header Corvette update. Old ones are off both sides. We got the new ones in place. Pretty sure we got it figured out which side's going on which. One thing that we noticed is the EGR port on this one is not the same as the old one. So what you have to do is cut right here and take about three quarters to an inch off and then re-weld it. So that's something we're not gonna get to tonight. <laughs> It looks like these, the new ones are a little bit smaller than the old ones and not as cumbersome, so they should be able to slide in a little bit easier. What we did with the uh, old ones is we slipped them, both of them came out of the top um, when initially we thought we were going to take them down through the bottom. We actually have this side almost ready to bolt up, and that's what we're going to do right now. <laughs> One hour later, as in. All right, Jose's got the last bolt tightened up. We're gonna see how this bad boy sounds right now. Pretty curious to see what this sounds like. So, yeah, you can, I can hear it. Sounds like a demolition derby car. Okay. Right now it's hard to tell what it'll sound like because we gotta take care of the EGR port. Modify it a little bit so it fits where it needs to be. And we get the hey, we handle business though. We got as far as we could. Next time you see this car, we'll be driving it down the freeway wearing pit vipers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of year. Christmas cheer, giving, snow, and coldness are all around the corner. And you know what that means? Ugly sweater season is upon us. That's why Hoonigan is bringing to you for the first time a real, real ugly sweater. Perfect for those family events chock full of awkward conversation and unintentional racism. The Uncle Rico ugly Christmas sweater is the perfect match to you drinking too much eggnog and telling your boss how you really feel about it them at the company Christmas party. Perfect for family photos, Polaroids, mug shots, any holiday party which you intend to fully crash or make a fool out of yourself. These are in limited edition, so get one while you can. Hoonigan.com. All right, guys, day two on the hooker header install for the Corvette C4. Got Danger Dan in the house. Hello. Now, as I was telling Dan, Jose and I got to a point where we actually flipped over the instructions. And it says on the back here, you need to remove about an inch off of the stock EGR tube on the passenger side. So right over here. Yeah. Let me go. show you. Here's the issue. You can see that. Most of the time, the, on the factory one, this would hit bank number two here, or this, uh, this runner right here. But it's on the third runner over rather than the second. Kind of hard to see down in there. So this has to be cut, and it also looks like it needs to be clocked, a little bit rotated. So plan today, cut that off, and we'll trim it down as needed. Gonna do some tagging. Yeah, and then try and teach Kyle how to tig. It sounds like the exact wrong thing to learn how to tig welding on, but... It's really thin. thin. Then isn't what you want to learn on. No. Like, it is. Because if you learn on uh, thin stuff, then the thick stuff becomes really easy. Yeah. But we got a... something that's crucial for you getting home. <laughs> <laughs> One of my main goals on this build was to make it California legal. Yeah. So and that's why we're going to... Because you live in California. <laughs> yeah. So I like that you can stand on these wheels. Yeah. Get over everything. It's sick. Yeah, they're, they're big, but we got the Falc, Falc Daddies on here. I did notice, though, because I leaned on your car earlier. Yeah. That your wheel bearings are... That side, in particular, yeah. definitely yeah. need some new ones. It'll get by for now, but should replace those, too. Should also clean that camera. It's really dirty. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... I can see it. It looks like, looks like dust. Well, let's get started.
part. Yeah, we did. Where where was that bolt at, dude? So this back of the bracket, <clears throat> which is behind. It's on the back of the head here. I you can't. Let me see if I can even see it. This doesn't want to focus on it. It is back in there, which if you can't see, you cannot get your hand back there, nothing. It is very difficult to get to that bolt, but luckily you didn't have to take it all the way out. You could see that that was <clears throat> in the back, very difficult, and I couldn't get to it. Plus, we opened the fuel lines, so I didn't want to tack weld it in place, so I did what I do on intercooler piping, which is see those two little hash marks, Made those two little hash marks to line it up so we have the orientation to weld it correctly. And then, uh, yeah, now we just weld it up, put it back in. Uh, this mother is not going back on. I ain't even trying that. We're not putting that on. <laughs> it was so difficult. All right. Let's okay. Weld her up. Let's set up the table. I did not foresee that working out that well. So you didn't even use the rod? No, I just like fuse it together, I just kind of braise it. Don't watch this. This is very difficult to weld. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll have to teach you another day, Kyle. Because <laughs> if we screw this up. It's kind of a huge process to go through. Even on this low of voltage, it really kind of wants to go through it. It's nuts. Instructions said a competent welder can knock this out. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm competent enough to weld this. Looks good. Looks real good. That's that, man. All that for like 30 seconds of welding. I know. I don't think this wouldn't have been a very good thing to first try out. No, definitely not. That's, uh, I haven't welded anything that thin in a long time. Plus it being pretty dirty. I mean, I cleaned it with uh, a file and I can't even think what it's called. We should go home. I know. Let's finish this and go. Let's get this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it on there. Yeah. Rev the engine. I almost want to just cut this off while it's out of there. Let's do it. Because it's just going to get in the way. It is totally in the way. Screen needs go. Yeah, just don't touch this. If you pick that up, you're in trouble. Man, first weld ever, pretty sick! Now plugging in the last few bits, everything's back together. We just checked it for fuel leaks, no fuel leaks. Ready to go, and fire it up. Fire it up. We already know she gonna smoke. Yeah, yeah, I, I put a lot of uh, PB on that other side. That bolt was real shitty going in there. Go for it. to adapt to it real quick. Sick. Back to life. Yeah. 
Yo, couldn't have done it without you, bud. Happy belated birthday, by the way. Oh, thank you. Danger Dan's birthday yesterday. He's out helping me today. Yo, shout out to everyone who supported the Corvette build. This, this is the beginning. This thing's only gonna get sweeter from here, so. What I personally like about these headers are the replacement. They're a direct replacement uh, for the stock headers. This is a shorty style, and it actually bolts and it bolts directly into right into the stock heads. Correct. It's just, it's just a direct bolt-on application. God damn it, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this guy, Michael Bay? <laughs>